a lantern? <laughs> yes. At his home in Little Falls, three-year-old Cooper Wadvogel is used to waiting. He's, he's the definition of resiliency, that's for sure. He's waited a long time for this moment with his parents. It's just good to be home. His mother, Catherine, Cooper? has waited too. I was longing to hold him. That's all that, all that I thought about. Just this morning, she returned home after serving in Afghanistan with the National Guard's 114th Transportation Company. She'd been apart from her son for nine months. All of a sudden, we had to file into the building and get in formation, and I, you know, just look up, and Cooper and my mom are right there. But Cooper, well, he'd waited long enough. He just kept smiling like he was in awe A moment captured by a Care 11 photographer posted on our Facebook page. Like this one, it just says, that was probably the most tear-jerking and humbling 26 seconds I've seen in a long time. With tens of thousands of people commenting and liking the post. It melts my heart, it's so great. But this wasn't the first time little Cooper and his family here in Little Falls had to wait. You kind of did the same thing for me. Cooper's dad and Catherine's husband, Adam, returned from serving in Afghanistan with the National Guard back in December. I can't even imagine that she's home right now. Adam and Catherine haven't seen each other in 19 months. Ah. That means Cooper has been without his parents in the same house for more than a third of his life. So you can understand why he wants it to last <laughs> as long as possible. Can we play all day? Yeah, we can play all day. What do you want to play with next?